Are Gordon Ramsay's burgers the most amazing burgers I've ever had in my life? Today we're going to be putting that to the test. I ordered three burgers from Gordon Ramsay's burger place called Gordon Ramsay Street Burger. They had a pretty small menu. There were six beef burgers in total, so I got half of them. I also got a side of fries. This is a little bit expensive. This came out to, what, how much did this come out? <clears throat> $57.67. That's pretty high, but again, the delivery fees, I will say right off the bat, I do like the the wrapping. It's got the branding on it, and it looks like there's some kind of foil. It's kind of a foil paper mixture, so hopefully it kept the burgers nice and warm. So I got the Hell's Kitchen burger, I got the Next Level burger, and I also got the OGR burger, and for the life of me, I could not find out what OGR stands for, the acronym. He loves his acronyms. Um, but no one knows what they mean. So I was thinking a combination between OG and GR, his initials. So like original Gordon Ramsay burger, I, I don't know. There's no info on it. So we'll just have to delve into it. Let me unpackage these and then we'll take a closer look. So this is the Hell's Kitchen burger. It has grass fed Hereford beef, lettuce, tomato, red onion, gherkins, street dressing, hotter than hell salsa, hotter than hell relish, and smoked cheese. It's going to be a little bit hard to show you everything here. I guess that is the hotter than hell relish. Looking interesting, to say the least, along with that smoked cheese, gherkins, uh, and all the other stuff. I mean, I don't really want to dig into the weeds too much because this whole thing might come crashing down if I do. But on the bottom, we can see some of the hotter than hell salsa, I believe he was calling it. Next up, we got the next level burger. This is their newest beefy arrival, smashed double beef patty, American cheese, red onion, and sriracha mayo. This looks right up my alley. I love me a smash burger, especially a double smash burger, especially one with limited um, toppings. I was kind of scared he would try to, he would mess it up by putting too much toppings and overcomplicate it for me. I like a simple smash burger, but to be fair, any smash burger is pretty good. So you can see the pickles and the burgers pretty thin. I guess th this is the sriracha mayo on top. And yeah, that, this is probably going to be my favorite. I'm just calling it right off the bat. Although I am open to be pleasantly surprised, I would like to be actually. This one this is the last one. This is the OGR burger. And this is grass-fed Hereford beef, smoked cheese, house relish, and salad, which I guess is just... You know, onion, tomato, lettuce. They love the, like the relish and the salsa and stuff like that. He, he loves it. Um, obviously, he didn't make these by hand. Well, maybe he did. Who knows? All right, let's get into it. I'm going to start off, I guess, with the OGR and work my way this way. So the bun is looking nice. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty clean. Some of the pictures, I thought it would be way too saucy and way too messy, but it's actually not bad going in. Hold on a minute. Bone fragments. I'm just, actually, I don't know. What is that, Gordon? What is that? Maybe cartilage, but my teeth were not getting through that. Here's a cross section. It looks, <laughs> it looks better than it tastes. I, right off the first bite, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little bit disappointed. Maybe I have to take a few more bites, but um, I don't know if you can see that patty just doesn't look that good. And I have a theory on why, and it doesn't have to do with the bone fragments in there, but I got to give it a fair shot, a couple more bites. Okay. So I did Gordon Ramsay Street Pizza few weeks ago and that su was surprisingly good. This was surprisingly bad, <laughs> can't lie. Wow. The burger patty is, the consistency is bad. This patty kind of tastes like, it, like a frozen patty, um, but it also is, in my opinion, under seasoned. And I have watched Gordon Ramsay YouTube videos before where he throws an egg into the mix, into the uh, ground beef or the minced beef which I think is completely unnecessary. We're not making a meatloaf here, we're making a burger. You know, some of the best burger experts, at least in America, and you say, oh, it's actually German, it's from Hamburg. Well, I don't, I don't, shut your ass. Americans gotta have the best burgers, you know? I mean, that's just how it is. And 
you know, look at someone like Greg from Ballistic Barbecue, Ballistic Burgers. He knows his stuff. I've never seen that man throw an egg into uh, the mix unless he's trying to do something funky. And he also preaches like a looser grind. This is a thickly packed patty. <clears throat> also, if you go and watch someone like J. Kenji Lopez Alt, who is a master in his own right of all things food, then he did a test. He seasoned the burger with two different methods. One, they mixed salt into the ground beef and then formed the patty and then cooked it like that. And the other one, he just had plain you know, ground beef raw form the patty and then right before he grilled it he put some salt on top which was by far the superior method for uh texture and i've again i've watched the gordon ramsay burger where he just kind of mixes everything together and then forms a patty he'll put in seasonings you know i've seen him put onion powder garlic powder salt and everything egg into it and that does something with the uh i don't know you'll have to look up jay kenji lopez alt he's a food scientist i'm not i'm just really let down by this burger Specifically, the patty. Everything else is good. But obviously, when you're eating a burger, you want the burger patty to be good. If I was eating this on my own time, not for a video, I would definitely be enraged. Especially for the price. Now, this one, I think, has a much better chance of being really good than Next Level Burger. It actually might be Next Level, at least compared to these. Let me... Cleanse the palate with these fries. I almost need to, to be honest with you. That, man, wow. Fries are good. Tasty, good seasoning. Uh, they're not crispy, you know, as a problem with delivery, but still a tad bit of crisp. If they were crispy, hot and fresh, I'd really mess with these fries. Very nice on the fries. All right, next level burger. Look at that. You can just, that, that's an old school diner style burger, smash burger. And once again, a really good choice of toppings, keeping it minimalistic. Hopefully no bone shards in this one going in. Man. Something, something, something's weird with this. Something's fishy. Something fishy's going on here. This is sketchy. When I can get better smash burgers in Korea on the regular, that's when you know something's real iffy. That... It is that's maybe one of the worst smash burgers I've ever had, if not the worst. Same kind of problem with the even the smash burger patties. It's that kind of chewy thickness to it. <clears throat> and the seasoning is just it's not there. Don't get me wrong, y'all. If I'm hungry and you give me this, I'll eat it. And I'll, I don't know if I'll enjoy it, but I would enjoy it more than like eating a salad any day of the week. But it's, it's almost one of those things where it's like, well, is it worth the cal like the unhealthiness? Maybe I would just take a salad, which is insane to say for me. I'm pretty sure on Google, it, this place had like at least a four, maybe 4.1 out of five star reviews. So some people are messing with it. That was weird. The bite I just got there, very salty. So they have an odd distribution of salt. Let's go ahead and try out this last one. Hopefully this will be spicy to actually add some, some kind of flavor to it. That's, uh, 
that's just not that good to me. It starts with the patty, having the same problems. But when you throw on some kind of relish and salsa on a burger, like, I don't know if you're just throwing it on to throw it on. I mean, this is the Hell's Kitchen burger. And I would tell him to get the hell out of my kitchen if he was making this. Uh, Man, you, Gordon Ramsay, I don't know, dude. I, like, I've had good burgers here in London, way better than these. I, like, I'm not going to say, like, oh, English, they don't know about burgers. No, I've had a really good burger. Like, one of the best burger I've had uh, in a few months at a pub. I didn't expect it to be good, and it was slapping. I also have had a bad burger from, like, a local late-night joint that was reminiscent of this. So maybe there's multiple styles. Maybe some people do like this style. I mean, honestly, these to me, for my style, are some of the worst burgers I've ever had in my life. For the price, especially. I would rather get a double cheeseburger from McDonald's all day, any day of the week. I'd rather get Shake Shack, Five Guys, Burger. I'd rather get a Whopper than this garbage. I'm not hating to be controversial. I'm just really telling it straight up, straight the, the straight up truth here. Like again, his pizza was good. Even though it was late, um, his wings were good. These burgers are not it. And it's a pretty small chain. I think they have like less than 10 locations in all of London. I don't even want to eat these, man. You would think they would come up with something better. I can't believe he approved these. Okay, it's always hard to do a food review when they might be having an off day. The delivery might have taken way longer than usual or whatever. So there's a lot of factors that can go into it. And a lot of it can depend on the freshness. But waiting 30 minutes should not affect the flavor like that. Like a good burger, you set it on the counter for 30, wrap it up in, a, in foil for 30 minutes, and it'll still taste good. These just don't. And so I'm not even going to say like, oh, it's because of the delivery or because whatever. It's just <clears throat> the flavor. It's just not, it's not there. Let me try this real quick. These are so desperate for flavor. The fries are very flavorful, so I'm thinking doing the old classic. Whenever I did take a bite of the burger and then I fry separately, chewed it in the same mouthful, it was way better, so. That actually helps a lot. Gordon, what are you doing, man? <sighs> I'm going to finish this one off. And I, I just have no desire to really eat. <sighs> I was, I calculated the calories and everything, and I was like, okay, I can eat all this today. But I just don't want to. I just do not want to, man. So my personal grading skill when it comes to food or movies or whatever is like the American school system grading skill, A, B, C, D, F. This is definitely a fail for me. I'm just wondering how bad of a fail it is, but it's definitely like a five or below. All of them are kind of, kind of equally disappointing to me. I'm going to give these like a, uh, and for the, I got to factor in the money. I'm going to give these like a two. Point three. Mm, that's disrespectful to MJ. Just a two. Two out of ten. I think this would be better served to feed the goddamn pigeons on the streets.
So if you ever come here and you're like, oh, I want to try like a Gordon Ramsay restaurant while I'm in London, I definitely go for not the burger place. He has a place called, uh, what is it, like Bread Street Kitchen or something. I've never been to that one, but the pizza was good. And the Bread Street Kitchen is probably good, better. Than, it must be better than this. I'm skating out of here, y'all. Thanks for watching this one. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.